The matcha protein powder is different. Hmm. Not sure if I like matcha protein powder. I think I just like matcha. Not terrible. I guess we're gonna rock out with it for today. But yeah, cheers. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday and I am feeling so much better. I feel like myself again. I had a late night gym session last night. You know, it's that time on my cycle, ovulation, where I be going ham in the gym, okay? That's like my favorite time to go to the gym. Like, I be lifting heavy, heavy, heavy. Last night's session was amazing, and it's what I needed to kind of like feel like myself again. Y'all know I love the gym. But today, girls, we are going to go get a coochie wax. Now I'm making this a big deal today in particular because I'm going to a girl that claims to be a painless waxer. Now we all know it's not going to be 100% painless. Like let's be for real. Let's be for real. Okay. She might call herself a painless waxer. I feel like she should brand and market herself as near painless. I don't know. But nonetheless, we're going to go and see her. And she's like a 30, 40 minute drive from me. And I'm that desperate to go and see what this is about because I absolutely hate getting waxes. They are the most dreadful thing that I have to do every four weeks. And so I'm like, if we can minimize even just the slightest bit of pain, even just the slightest bit of pain, I'm for it. I'm for it, okay? So we're gonna go to her today and I'm actually going to document my experience to really see what the hype is about. So be forewarned that I have a very, 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 very high pain tolerance when it comes to getting waxes. Like I just, I squirm, I hate it. I try to do the deep breaths, you know, I need them to be applying that pressure after they wax it off. I'm very like, mm -mm, don't play with me down here highly sensitive coochie so uh we're gonna see how this goes and i really do hope that my girl gets me right and i hope i'm not hooping and hollering with all the theatrics but we're gonna see so that is on our agenda and i have to go and run some errands we are in the full swing of holiday season it is literally december 21st and christmas is in a couple days and so i'm gonna be flying back home to upstate new york to see my mom my brothers cousins family i'm gonna make my trip up to connecticut to see my grandma and some college friends just rekindle reconnect and then i'm gonna make my way to new york city and spend some time with my good friend asa on new year's eve and New Year's Day and then I just decided to book a hotel and just spend a full week in the city. I'm super super excited. I miss New York. I've always considered New York to be the city of my dreams and so I'm just excited to spend the first week of 2024 in the most magical city. I saw some events on Eventbrite that I'm looking forward to buying some tickets for like I seen a matcha tea ceremony workshop. I seen this brownstone jazz showing situation up in Brooklyn and I'm so so excited for that too. I'm gonna book a couple Pilates classes via class pass when I get to the city. So we got our little work cut out for us. So yes, we got lots of packing. As you can see, my curls are popping right now. I'm actually gonna go see my girl I tomorrow and go ahead and get my bust down bone straight middle part, middle part, middle part for the holiday. Cause I feel like that bust down bone straight middle part, I take the bad bitchness from like a six to like an 11.5 with my bust down bone straight middle part, okay? So yeah, let's go ahead and get this coochie wax. So we're gonna exhale with each core. Okay. So you wanna take a deep breath in? Who did it? Wow, okay. Ooh, yes, I'm gonna tag you. The underarms really was like a quick one too. All right, girls, so here's the verdict. I'm not gonna say that it was painless. For underarms, one out of 10, I'm gonna give it like a 2.5, 2.5. It was so quick. I did not feel my hairs tugging and pulling as she was laying down the hard wax. Like, 
I do not know what this hype is about sugar waxing because sugar waxing is so intolerable. Like, you can feel the hair pull before you even get to the wax. The coochie, okay? She tripped me up with the double labia pull because you know how, like, with sugar waxing, they do all these tiny little strips and they do one lip at a time? No, she did. Okay, she did. One. One band, one sound. Okay, the labia pull, I would definitely give that like a 6.5. I mean, it's your labia. That's the most sensitive part of your entire coochie, okay? That shit hurt. I don't care how you slice and dice it. But this was not so excruciatingly painful where I was just like, oh my God, please stop. And it was so quick and easy. You know how Jay and I used to be like, quick and easy, quick and easy. <laughs> that was quick. And I booked my next appointment with her. But overall, I would definitely recommend her. Her name is Alexis. She has a super cute slogan called Home of the No Scream Queens. And I agree with that slogan. Like, I was not up in there hooping and hollering except for that little labia pool. But other than that, very tolerable. Very tolerable. Okay, I will say that much. Very tolerable. That's my review. That's my take. And if y'all do come, it's deep in Georgia. But let me know how your experience goes. I liked it. I loved it. And I'll be back. Bye. Happy holidays. Thank you. Yes, you will. Have a good one. Saturday. It is early in the morning and it is travel day. I am headed to upstate New York to see family and see my mom. I'm so, so excited. I'm about to head out. I just got to take down my bust down bone shame at Ohio. Wrapping bone straight hair after the first day you get it done is an extreme sport. So hopefully this comes out looking decent oh i got a little dent it's giving a little cherokee indian using a wide tooth comb i really don't like to use like little thin combs like this because i feel like it just flattens the hair more and i get that it's already bone straight but i could still use as much body and bounce as possible 
I don't know where this dent came from. I think this dent came from the clip-ins because I actually still wrapped my hair with the clip-ins in. So I'm not about to press it because it's, it's not that deep. It's really not that deep. Y'all seen my curls the other day before I went and got my silk press. So clearly my hair has not been subjected to any heat damage. And that's because when I get this style, whenever my hair starts to freeze up or curl up, like, oh well. Like, that's it. It's not... A bust down bone straight middle part is not worth me getting heat damage, baby. It's really not that serious to me. Yeah, it's literally 20 degrees in Albany, y'all. It's 20 degrees. So I'm happy I got this bone straight here. So hopefully I don't be sweating a lot. So I packed my long Aritzia Super Puff. Like, I got my glove. I got my thermal leggings. I got my turtlenecks. Baby, we going back up north. Okay. We're going back up north. Also, last night, I packed up Brandy's Christmas gift. She got some good stuff up in her, y'all. Okay. So, I'm going to drop my girl's gift off at her door, and then we're going to get in our Uber, and we're going to go. Merry Christmas. So your family still lives in Albany. It's easy to yeah. box both of them. Yes, please. Sure. Wisdom tooth?
Yeah, my baby girl in the interviews now with the with the problem on the ninety minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, hello girls. Happy what's today? Saturday, I think. I look at my phone. <laughs> we are in Denver, Colorado. So as you know, my initial plans for the holiday after I spent time with my mom on Christmas, I was going to go up to Connecticut to see my grandma and catch up with friends from back home. And then I was going to take a trip up to New York City and just spend a full week in New York City to bring in the new year. However, at the very last minute, like yesterday or two days ago, I was like, you know what? I actually want to go to Denver. Super spontaneous. So I ended up just switching my flight from New York to Denver and I made a short itinerary of things to do here. Um, I'm going to be here for an entire week. So I'm really excited. I really just feel like for the later half of 2023, the lights just have not been on in my eyes. And I realized that like, I need to switch it up. You got to give a good switcheroo, okay? And so I felt like going to Denver, a city I've never been to before, and just exploring completely new things and just allowing my eyes to see something entirely new is probably like what I need. We're doing a solo trip here in Denver for the week. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. Today, I'm actually getting ready to go to a Pilates class. After my Pilates class, I'm gonna find a cute cafe that has really good matcha and have some breakfast and work on editing some content. And that's just gonna be like my morning today. I didn't plan or book anything for today. I just wanted today to kind of be like a chill day to kind of just like get acclimated, get settled in since I flew in late last night. So far, I booked tickets for snowmobiling at High Country Mountain, I think, which is almost like a two hour drive away. So we gotta rent a Jeep, we gotta drive up the mountains. We is on our Denver girl shit for real, okay? And then on January 1st, to kind of like ring in good vibes in the new year, I booked tickets to an NBA game to go see the Denver Nuggets play. I have never been to an NBA game ever before and I was like this just feels like the perfect city to go to one. So we're gonna go to a Denver Nuggets game. I'm also trying to see if I can find a reservation at Strawberry Hot Springs. Definitely want to do the Hot Springs vibe and I'm just really really excited about that. So I'm kind of just like going with the flow. I woke up this morning feeling just like a little sad and I think it's just mostly because like I'm exploring and seeing new things like on my own and I don't have anyone to kind of like experience these first with. But aside from that, like I got out of bed, the sun came out, I said I booked a Pilates class. Girl, get up, get up. I'm just really excited to kind of just like take on Denver and just kind of like see something new for real. So you guys are probably like, what inspired you to choose Denver? So y'all already know I'm into astral cartography and I know you're supposed to do a sit down chit chat and talk about it. So here in Denver, I am currently on my Jupiter line, which I think is super cool because I've never been on my Jupiter line. Uh, living in New York and Atlanta, those are where my Uranus lines are. And then in LA, that's where my Mars line is. So I pulled up my relocator chart for Denver and I have seen some pretty cool aspects. Like I have my sun trining my midheaven and I feel like with my sun trining my midheaven, that could just be really, really amazing for me just like restoring the light and the life back into me back into my eyes you know so i'm really hoping that denver does offer an experience for me where i just feel like myself like my best self and one thing i'm learning as i'm moving around to all these different places is that it really is what you make of it you're really just taking the initiative and having the mindset that like i am going to have a great experience here you know like Wherever you go, there you are. <laughs> Look at her. Huh. Look at the woman, man. Look at her. Huh. That ain't my. That ain't my. That ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drives with her. Hey. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Hey. Sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in a hassle. Oh, damn, yeah, man. Oh, never knew, no, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend, too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. A 
oh wait one quick thing before i go y'all this topical slick solve i've tried many lip balms and many lip oils they did their thing this ooh, ooh. <laughs> this i have never in my life like seriously topicals amazing 12 out of 10 i could just do this all day the applicator feels so good honestly just get anything topical okay and then for fragrance i'm just throwing on this vanilla kaoli fragrance some light now i'm just throwing on my aloe yoga fleece you guys have been asking me for this but y'all i got this back in like 2020 when i moved to la and they do not make this anymore and i'm holding on to it for dear life and it's been holding up <laughs> <laughs> this headband is the gym wrap headband this has saved my silk presses love this link in it below for y'all too now we're off to pilates but not solid core like it definitely had a good level of intensity and it was just a bit more upbeat than my regular pilates back home in atlanta but i really really liked it i was shaking my arms my legs the booty dude was shaking <laughs> now that i have left pilates y'all already know i'm now on a mission to find some of the best matcha cafes here in denver first cafe i'm gonna go to i think it's called milk tea people and it's not far from my hotel that's where we're going we are off to get some matcha Blueberry lavender matcha latte. Yeah. And can I substitute the milk for oat milk? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that'll be all for me. Awesome. Yeah. Make it your first name in the order. Amani. Amani. Yes. Is it A M A N I? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I meant to ask, did uh -huh. you do you guys sell okay. your ceremonial grade matcha? Like we do. in tins? Yeah. Okay, how much is it? It's twenty nine. Twenty nine? Okay. Yes. I'll probably get it after I yeah. sip on my matcha. Yeah. But thank no you. Yeah, I am so excited to try this matcha. Like this. This is quality. This, this is quality. Yeah. 
Yeah, this that is was, that girl. That, that's yes. it? That's the one. <laughs> For quick and easy, <laughs> like not too, too much, but you still want your content to look crisp and clean, cinematic. That's the it. Mark II. I had the first one and then something happened to it, uh -oh. but then I upgraded. This is like the perfect upgrade. Thank you. Absolutely. I'll follow you back. Very yeah, of course. You'll love it. If you get it, it's a great investment for sure. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Target and I need to get another SD card because the one I'm currently using is on its last leg and I just don't want to run out of footage over and over and over again on this trip so especially when I'm like out and about so I'm gonna pick up this memory card and then I'm thinking about getting a film camera I have one at home but it's too big and bulky and I really want to capture the moments and the time that I'm having here. So I think I'm gonna get this Instax Mini 12 film camera. It's like small and compact enough for me to carry around. And then I'm gonna get one of these just to have some extra film. We just got our film camera and our memory card. I'm gonna have my friend here hello, help hello. me put this film camera together. Cause he clearly does film cause he's walking around with this big body camera. But he's gonna help me figure this out so we can take cute photos together. Memories. Yeah, I love me some crystals in some Florida water. So I gotta find me a cute crystal shop out here so I can take this Denver energy back with me to Atlanta when I need to go pick me up. <laughs> You're gonna need a lot of those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think it's so cool how you could be in Denver in the city and see the damn mountains. I'm astonished. They don't do this in Atlanta or LA, but in LA you have to be like deep in the valley to see the little mountains in Burbank and stuff. The process of formatting the memory. Stuff on her. They're looking at us. Right. <laughs> this is where your battery would go. Okay. So I am going to make exceptions for things like that. It just doesn't, you know, it defeats the purpose. Or any like consuming what's inside. I tried the sea salt one. Wake you in Aurora. Definitely put a wow. sour. Uh, I also don't really know how to use chopsticks, but bear with me. I can't trust you. What? Mango is my favorite fruit. <laughs> Out, like for example. And I will say you guys have made my first day memorable. <laughs> so it's not like you're holding a pencil. How do you hold a pencil? So thought I'd pass you. And I can't get it right. Okay. Just like for the life of me. Oh I'll try the ginger after I'm so for someone that like is new to Denver and never been here and you can scroll on TikTok and see what people say, you come here thinking, That's I think the ones we've been with don't on the shelf. Refill y'all's waters in just one Right. Okay. <laughs> Um, he has a whole schedule. Yeah, he very like. I'm um, just to wish him a happy 40th birthday <laughs> on my story. <laughs> Hey Siri, what's the weather today? Expect partly cloudy skies today. Daytime temperatures will hover around 44 degrees, with overnight lows around 25.
you got it. Go faster than the seat round you. I saw we were going without it. Oh, you say it's all right. You know I need a closure. I need that you to come over. I be like it's us too. Oh, everything I say, you know I. going to a jazz show i'm so freaking excited for this jazz a jazz show on new year's eve denver i love you denver i love you this now this is my roman empire this is my roman empire i'm so excited we are really going to a jazz show this is my first ever jazz show like i'm doing so many firsts here in denver like i cannot wait to get some souvenirs and take some photos with my film camera for keepsakes um i'm excited first ever jazz show i have faith it's gonna be good it's supposed to be like a nostalgic kind of jazz vibe i'm here for it <laughs> I took some film photos. 